This is a placeholder song, a placeholder song Until we replace the old song This is a placeholder song for Is This Anything? Well, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome our guest today. We have Gracie Cannon on, and uh, yeah, hi, so Gracie. Hello, thanks for having is it, me. Is it Cannon? Cannon, but Kanan. I don't Kanan. care oh. at all. It's, uh, I don't know but I, I actually, I'm sorry. I, I was surprised by the pronunciation of that as well. I just feel like with the double A's, I'm like, that's where I should focus all my energy on, <laughs> and I'm still wrong. No, no, no. Okay, so identity crisis. Grew up saying Canan. And then my dad was like, it's actually Canaan. Go forth into the world, children, and like oh, recorrect wow. our legacy. Oh my so, God. <laughs> I don't know if he said it like that. He probably was like, mm-hmm. you should fix it over vodka cranberries, but that's a general <laughs> idea. So now we all say Canaan. Oh, Canaan is Canaan. There we ah, go. No. I like hey. that. Nice. Well done. <laughs> I think I've told one of you guys the story already, but I have been Berenstein my entire life. And then one day I was checking in for a flight and the woman who was checking me in was German. And she just handed me back all my documents, you know, all of my, uh, you know, my boarding pass, my my ID. And she goes, OK, here's your ticket and have a good flight, Mr. Berenstein. And I was like, is that <laughs> my name? <laughs> <laughs> It you, might be. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> you did uh, tell this story before uh, on mm-hmm. the podcast, and um, I liked the way you told it this time. But for some reason, the way that you said it that first time, it fucking killed me. I loved <laughs> just the way you were like so almost like intrigued but crushed. Is that my name? <laughs> you were just so like, is that? Whole identity <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. He immediately what? buys a Lederhosen. <laughs> so I am now. I was hoping uh, she was going to be like, ah, oh, and have a good flight, Mr. Jared Jewish Jewy Jewel. Is that, that my name? <laughs> 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 All right. So I'd like to welcome Gracie flight. Kanan to our show. And we're going to just right. edit out everything else when I said it wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want to look no, stupid. No, keep it. The people, the people must know that it's human. It's okay to make a mistake. It's true. Um, no, well, thanks Once. for having me. I, again, I've been Lynn Levy, who now I know. I've met every one of you in person, mm-hmm. which is very cool. And uh, Rob, just to kick this off real quick, I think you might have had one of my favorite sets I've ever seen live. Oh my God! Thank it you was so in, much. Yeah, it was in Atlantic City, and you told like. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have time 20- for this story where we're just <laughs> saying nice things about Rob. Ah, oh, Jarrett. Uh, I'm sorry about the schedule. We never do this part. We never I'm do this sorry. part. I, I know. I, I promise you, we'll do it next show, Rob. Next show, we can. <laughs> <laughs> and then just keep saying that. Anyway, I just wanted to, I figured it was easier to say it on here and less creepy than just like randomly messaging you that. That is so incredibly oh, sweet of you. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Uh, I have a funny... Uh, Rusty, well, you fun- can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually at one of my least favorite sets live ever. So I that, know. Uh, nice, uh, I want to hear this story. Mm. Oh, I, I was headlining at a uh, comedy contest festival. I don't know what he, what what Dan Frigolet was calling it, but uh, he has, I think, like 15 comics do six minutes and then has an intermission then announces what the finalists are, then has them all do 10 minutes, and then he wants me to headline. It's been probably like three hours since I got there, and (laughs) half of the people who lost, all of the people who came to see them left, and he was like, now do 30 minutes, and I was like... (laughs) I, these people don't want to be here. They just want to hear who won and go home. They've been here for so long. I've, I think at one point I said it feels like uh, I'm I'm at I'm like at the end of a civil war battle, and there's just injured yes, people I think all you might around, have. just like wounded, maimed people, and they're like, "Do comedy." <laughs> Empty beer pitchers just knocked over people. Yeah, it's all comedy shows should be. 50 minutes long. Yes. That's sincerely what I think. Um, I agree. None of us asked if she said 5 0 or 1 5. We ah, that's like, either. Yeah, no, we 15, know. 15 and better. 15 Honestly, minutes long. One comic, the host says 30 seconds, everyone goes home. That's my so ideal you, comedy show. It's really funny. So you saw Rob do a set in Atlanta that blew you Atlantic away. City. It was incredible. Oh, Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like, uh, I think the New York comedy club like atlantic city location and it was one of those classic ballroom type scenarios with the fold-out chairs or whatever and i don't think there were that many people on the second show 
But yeah, you mm-hmm. did like a 20 minute set about your alcoholic mother. And sorry, am I supposed to say that on here? No, you're totally fine. Get, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's, well, I not, it's not an episode of ITA like, if we haven't mentioned Rob's alcoholic yeah. mother, <laughs> mother, to be honest. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But you made it, it was so dark and you made it so funny. And I was just like, I'm cringing and laughing at the same time. And it's yeah. stuck with me. So oh, wow. thank That's- you. Believe it or not, Rob has actually worked on that throughout the entire pandemic and ironed it out and made it uh, into a one-man show. That is really, really, I'm like so excited for. So, Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. I am coming. Sad it didn't make my Instagram algorithm, but I'm so glad I know about it now. Please keep me posted. Oh, and everyone it, listening it, to this, come out because it is art. Yeah. yeah agreed. That means the world to me, Gracie. And, and uh, thank you, Brett, for, for the assist on that. Like, I, when you heard that, that was a, a real <laughs> gutsy move for me because it was so early on that process. And I had time, but I wasn't sure how I was going to. And I had this gig and I was like, oh, fuck it. I, 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 have, I have like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. I was like, I should just do the whole set. City. Nothing but that. I don't want to, I don't want to bail on the material. But it was so, it was a while ago. And these guys know how long I've been working on this, on this show. And so, yeah, that was in very like nascent uh, state. And I and I and I went for it, and you and I talked for a long time afterwards, and I really appreciated our conversation. I I liked it. You know, you were telling me about your life as well, and so uh, thank you. It, it, that was great, and a pretty good, like a good what's it called like a tentpole moment in the creation of this material. So the mm, fact that it stuck with so you, nice. it's really nice. Yeah, that just goes that's to show you, well. like follow your gut mostly when you when we always have those seesaw moments of like, do I do my tied and true cat jokes or do I talk about really something really fucked up? And even if it works like one out of 10 times that one out of 10, like even if you go right. for it and it only pays off, it pays off in a huge way. And just so. to add to that, from what I have heard, I don't think I've done a show in Atlantic city ever, but I have heard notoriously some of the dumbest people. That you could perform <laughs> Yes, but all <laughs> yeah. from broken homes. So yeah, that's true. That, I had a leg up. Watching that, like, yeah, yeah. That, that guy's a me guy. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't every comic totally. talk about this? Yeah, you probably don't want to do your, like, Brooklyn oat milk material out there. <laughs> but if it's, like, fucked up, slapstick, those are some of my favorite crowds. So. so you saw Rob do an awesome set, Brett do a terrible set, and you saw me do a set where you were like, that's stand-up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, wait, it's nice and you average. sent me a tape, and then I was also on your podcast. But I think by the time you sent us your tape, we, like, the sh- our, we, we didn't the love pandemic. the show anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or it was, like... We were like, yeah, we've been doing this for 12 months. I think I'm done losing $100 every week or whatever. Oh. Whatever you lose running a bar show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Before we go any further, let's do our official sound check. Because the only thing I said was I turned Rob down. And I still think he sounds louder than everybody else. I don't know how I sound compared to him. Oh, okay. I just turned myself down some more. How is that? Uh, how compared you, to Rob, everybody? you and Jarrett and Rob sound about equal to me. How do I sound? You sound great. You sound good. Do I sound reasonable now you sound equal to brett in my opinion all right that's good grace can you give us a little talk yes i'm talking right now this is my normal volume (laughs) great (laughs) and can you get hype can we hear you hype yeah hype oh my god i'm so hype there's no can control it can you tell that i'm a very hype (laughs) i don't get excited a lot hype (laughs) hype (laughs) And there we go. Perfect. Is that, uh, me? <laughs> is that me? Is that supposed? Is that like code for something in podcast, or was that? Oh no, no that was good. Right. No, no, I was just, oh, okay. just right. because you you have a very even keel <laughs> when you're excited and when you're not. Uh, I was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. come on, let's see it. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I try to I try to remain very small, like a mollusk at all times. Ooh, a probably mollusk. A, it's probably a coping mechanism. Yeah, very just slow and in my little. What is a mollusk? Um, I think it's like a, a clam or anything that's in a clam, right? Am I am uh, I I'm mistaken? Maybe sea cucumbers, but I don't know if it's anything like a scallop, a clam, right, right. anything. If I like, grow like, the hair in the back of my head into seaweed, that's a mollusk as well, I think. Oh yeah, it's a mullet mollusk. <laughs> yeah, it's a mollusk. Yeah. A mullet mm-hmm. just... Mm-hmm. It's definitely gross, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very uh, Pirates of the Caribbean too. <laughs> was the incident yeah. oh, true, true, yeah. 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 Not, which is means not as good as the original Gracie's thing. Sure. Yeah. White trash monster. <laughs> I'm into it. Uh, um, Gracie, what have you been up to? Uh, we want to catch up with you as well before we get into jokes. 
Yes. Um, I well, the pandemic happened, as mm-hmm. we all know. Oh. Did not miss stand up. Yeah, I can tell you more about that later. It was the whole thing. <laughs> I, I did not miss stand up at all. It was the first time that I was sleeping, eating, working out. I was like, yeah. "Fuck stand up." It has. It's like an abusive relationship. Obviously, I'm back doing stand up again. Um, mm-hmm. Like an so abusive I relationship. Kind of Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've crawled back into it in a way that I'm really enjoying though. Like I, I'm doing less shows. The shows are better quality. They're paying. I'm posting a lot, trying to work on trying to like record an album next year and just burn That's my awesome. old material. Yeah. Um, and then other than that, I've been putting most of my energy into screenwriting and trying to like develop some projects yeah. and sell them. Yeah, absolutely. Next year, so I don't have to keep finding clothes on the street. Even though that's very fun. Life hack. Brooklyn is your, your top looks great. if you walk around. Thank you. It's Ralph Lauren. And I think this entire... Ralph Lauren's her me. neighbor. Uh, it's just some guy who <laughs> tosses yeah, clothes yeah, in the street. Yeah, yeah. Those are two yeah, roommates. Ralph, gotta love this. Uh, this is his sons. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. Writing, intentional comedy, and being a trash panda. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I do like the idea of you on the street just be like, they never have anything in my size. <laughs> right here, no, no, no. Sixth I Avenue. Passed this, <laughs> I passed this one girl, I'm assuming it was a woman or like a very small, fashionable mm-hmm. man. Um, but I passed and I took like four things and then I passed the next day and I took two things. So I'm just hoping this girl and everything was perfect in my side. So it sad. So I'm hoping that I pass this girl and she's just like, <laughs> like just dressed completely in her clothes um really and she funny. looks wisely off after me like yeah i knew they'd find a home so. <laughs> dumpster diving is probably the same like success ratio as at mandy like it's probably just very similar where you just you show up to a mandy you're like i don't know you're just going into the into the wild <laughs> what's, what's a mandy Oh, never mind. It's just is it some... like a Century Twenty One. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, exactly. but lower, even, yeah, seemingly yeah, the lower end than that, right? And it's sustainable. Being gross and having no sh- like the less shame you have, the more sustainable you are. Mm. That goes for eating unhealthy. That goes for cheap clothing. You know, like that's the fun thing about just living this struggling artist life is you're like, I'm actually just being sustainable. <laughs> Yeah, keep keeping like, keeping your nut like, keeping your nut low, or as as it's yeah. called. If you keep your nut low, like you're good forever. You're just like, how can so you hurt me? <laughs> nut low and Mandy's. These are two things. So like, I'm just writing these down. I'm gonna. I'm I was like, gonna is say. this what the people are? These references from? Are these, does this work in Atlantic City? People are all like, just, uh, not really Atlantic saying. City either works at or shops at a Mandy. I do like what you were saying, Gracie. It almost sounds like a really gross TED talk, like a trash talk. <laughs> Just well, be a trash person. What... It's fine. It works. That's what my boyfriend calls me now. He calls me trash panda. And I, he's just slowly figured out, like, even today, he saw this new scratch post I have for my cat. And he's like, oh, that's nice. Where did you get that? I'm like, where do you think? And he's like, I think the line has to be cat toys. I'm like, there, until I sell a project, there is no line. Like, it is just me. It is just the Hunger Games out here. I like the idea that the, you run into the girl whose clothes you've taken and she thinks it's her from the past. <laughs> 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 I think that would also be a really good meet cute. Oh yeah, you know, mm-hmm. um, in her shoes, in her clothes, type of situation. What did right. you call it? A meet cute? Meet cute. A meet cute. cute. Meet you cute. know, what's that? Ah, oh, like he's got the terms it's now. Every yeah, it's like in every <laughs> romantic comedy where it's like girl turns around really quickly and spills a coffee on the cute guy or, you know, someone oh. leaves a scarf on the subway. A um, meet cute. Sorry, so I think that's cool. my Xerox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, oh, sorry about that. I see. Okay, as as we all know, the great romances of our time have started in a kinkos. So <laughs> yeah, Brett, that's... Brett doesn't know what a meet cute is because we didn't meet cute. He helped me load my suitcase into Steve's car. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, a good cute. one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. and it has a, a and I was wearing her clothes. <laughs> for, for, and and you were like, is this me from the past? Did I used to have a beard? <laughs> Rob, I went to a uh, a Macy's to get myself a new wallet, and I had this feeling going to Macy's where there's all this like you know secondhand stores. You know they they take their 
their stuff that doesn't sell. They send it to a Macy's in a small town, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then someone like me buys it for like way cheaper than it was intended. Yeah. And it almost feels a little bit like recycling where I'm just like, all this stuff would have ended up in a landfill. I'm doing such a good job for the earth <laughs> buying this Tommy Hilfiger wallet for $23. <laughs> $23. <laughs> That's really I've cool. also yeah. been to Macy's though, where like their, their shitty shoes are like $900. So there's no in between. Ooh. Yeah, when yeah. they sell really high end brand stuff. Yeah. And it is really weird that they just like it goes to clearance and then they throw it all out and they don't take time to donate a lot of it. That was actually a big thing with Abercrombie and Fitch. They specifically were like, we will burn our clothes before we donate them because we don't want poor people to be wearing them and then like degrade the brand identity or something. Wow. And they That's a, a weird now. piece of trivia. Big people wow. also. No, like, you don't make your yeah. clothes in a certain size because we would rather uh, yeah. burn our clothes than have a, a large person wear them. Right, instead. right. And now they're probably trying to whip that ship around. Be like, oh, just kidding. Body positivity. <laughs> Let's sell more jeans. <laughs> I, I want, it's weird fakers. that Abercrombie would take that stance, though, because it feels like the way that I see the models for Abercrombie, they're kind of wearing their clothes in a homeless style like yeah, no, true. Sure, no shirt shirt right. wide open right 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 just yeah. like button it seems like a button's missing well i do it's think it's just the uh, difference yeah. of abs yeah you know that's really where anthropology <laughs> puts okay. their stock yeah, I think Urban Outfitters has the reverse policy. They're like, please, homeless people, wear our clothes. That's that's, <laughs> that's exactly. what we're going for. It's we grunge. need literal street cred. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Last ahead, day of tour. Last day of tour. <laughs> Last day of tour. Uh, where that's are so you guys exciting. right now? Brett is also on tour. Where are you guys right now? We're in Syracuse. Syracuse, nice. Just arrived. Ooh, nice. so close. So close yeah. to home. Mm-hmm. It must feel great. Uh, yeah, it is. It's like, uh, you know, I know in two weeks I'll be like, ah, I miss it. But right now I'm like definitely ready to be like done mm-hmm. with it. Yeah. Um, the shows, the last actually few shows have been incredible. Um, but I'm just, you know, I'm road weary for sure. Absolutely. It's been a long time. Uh, it and is it's nice exhausting. And you guys did a really long the, stretch. Yes, uh, yeah. especially Lady. Uh, but it's nice to see that the magic has... Uh, wasted away from Lady's eyes. Um, <laughs> finally, she's she's uh, like, okay, the cool event. Like she would every venue. Would, this is so cool. <laughs> the the ongoing thing for the first month and a half was every day Lady would say to me, "I think this is the best t- of tours so far." <laughs> Not ironically. <laughs> and we were having some terrible days too. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we had some real crappy days and I think there was one day where we were all just defeated and it was very clearly not the best day of tour. Like maybe, maybe it was just LA or something. And I was like, this is the best day of tour so far. (laughs) (laughs) That's really funny. When, uh, when Brett lost his backpack, were you like, best day of tour so far? I think she actually did once uh, once yeah. things had calmed down a little bit. I think she did make that. All right. Uh, well, Brett and Lydia are on the road. Where's everybody else? Uh, I'm in uh, Washington Heights, uh, chilling in this apartment. How about you there, Jarrett? You're somewhere. I am at my in-laws' house in Modesto, Ooh. California. Kirsten and I came out here for Thanksgiving. We spent the weekend in San Francisco, which is close to Modesto. Ooh. Just hang out. I was going to little- say... Oh, sorry. I didn't no, mean to say you were doing a you're doing a cute little shoulder shimmy and I just interrupted <laughs> it. <laughs> like you were like you can shoulder you shimmy and listen something. at the same time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying something that suggested like I'm a bad girl, but you were talking <laughs> about Mendocino. <laughs> like, mm, a little wine country. <laughs> as long as we're making fun of Jarrett. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. While, while we're on the topic, uh, Jared said, "Okay, we know where Brett and Lady are. All where, right. I, where, I know where, this is where going. is everybody else? You know exactly where I am, buddy. And I'm pretty oh, sure, boy. I'm pretty sure Gracie already mentioned where she was. So what you thought was <laughs> nobody's asked where I am. <laughs> Clearly, I'm in a different place. I'm in Rob, Modesto, your California. Still, way Rob, too your high. mic is still way too high. Right. You got to turn it way, way down. <laughs> yeah, way, way. I am hearing everything you're saying. I need you to turn that mic." <laughs> off if you can unplug it maybe that's a good option because i'm in modesto california and nobody knows yet where's everybody else i mean i could have guessed that you were at an in-laws because that is one sophisticated 
shelf with Guest tchotchkes room. set yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, like that true, is, man. and also the duvet looks very like mm-hmm. cushiony. Can you stop like, saying this, words I don't know? <laughs> cushiony <laughs> duvet. A tchotchke, what the? T- <laughs> work in home design. Like I would design before my trash panda days. I worked for Anthropology in West Elm, so mm. all I see when I look at that is like a merch coordinated thing, and then I just have flashbacks to mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, s- mm-hmm. using Slack. Mm. Hey, Jared, uh, did, did um, Kirsten's dog ask you why you abandoned it? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Uh, Jared. Right, right. No, she thanked us. She was like, thank you for bringing me back home. I hated New York so much. We sort of like half adopted Kirsten's dog and brought her back to New York. The dog was so miserable the entire time would not stop coughing. And we were like, this dog is like minutes away from dying. We should at least bring her back to Modesto <laughs> so she can be happy and warm in her final days. And as soon as she got back here, cough gone, just like happy as a clam, <laughs> as a mollusk. So you know? you're leaving, thank you, thank you. Working in those vocab words. So you are now leaving them with Kristen's parents. Well, yes. yeah, the dog is now here in Modesto, seemingly for the rest of its life which could be tomorrow or oh years God. from now that's what i thought apparently. based on the coughing <laughs> that this dog was doing in new york but yes. since she's been back she's so happy she's having probably a great just time. a smoker's cough and then since she's been back in california <laughs> it's a lot she's kicked the habit there's a lot healthier alternatives from that <laughs> and now she's wearing like lululemon now. and she's like i'm just so glad i have a better lifestyle out here yeah <laughs> yeah give her some crystals instead of dog treats she'll be fine yeah, I do like five or six downward dogs a day now. Areas. So we're doing uh, Thanksgiving a... over here, and nice. uh, then uh, I go back on Friday back to New York. Hey. Nice. Yeah. I have a fun story from uh, the road. Uh, I told here. Rob this already, um, but uh, did a show at the flagship Funny Bone in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And it was a great sold out show. Uh, everybody killed. After Andrew and I did, Steve's on stage. Andrew and I have both opened. Uh, we both did our fifteen. This, this one of the staff members comes back into the green room. Uh, me, there was another. There was a guest set. Me, the guest set, and Andrew are all sitting there. The guy comes up to Andrew and he goes, "Man, th- this I'm not exaggerating at all." He he goes, "Dude, you are a genius. You, I I never suck comedian sticks, but I I came back here to tell you that you are going really far." We're sitting right next to him. We both perform. And then he leaves, close the door, and then comes back and he goes, you guys were good too. And I laughed so hard. I've had that, but never to that extent. It was just so perfect. And then he he tried to come back in and be like, no, 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 I'm it. And I was like, don't, please, you're going to ruin it. It's (laughs) such a good moment. Please, it's beautiful. (laughs) Nothing you say is going to convince me anything. (laughs) Uh, okay. And then no more than, really than 10 funny. minutes later, we were setting up merch and a guy came up to Andrew again and he was like, he was like, man, uh, you were so good. You're my, I, you were, you were my favorite. And at this time I like stood close cause I was like, this is hilarious. And I was, I was like, he's my favorite too. Just to see if he would say anything, <laughs> nothing. And he just keeps <laughs> telling Andrew that he's his favorite. And then eventually I go back to setting up merch and I hear him go, I'm a bit of a wordsmith myself, uh, which is why I really appreciated your chivalry joke. And I was like. You mean my chivalry joke? And he's like, uh, and he was like, I was like, you may be a wordsmith, but you're not much of a face smith. (laughs) Uh, So uh, I pulled down my mask. I put my jacket back on and he's like, oh no. He realizes that he meant to be talking to me the whole time. uh, And he just feels so bad. And I was like, don't worry. The exact same thing just happened to us 10 minutes ago. This is totally fine. It was great. That's so funny. (laughs) I so you were robbed. Stole all those you were robbed of the compliment. Uh, I don't. I. I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I would so much rather somebody insult me because they like. I know how well I did. I know that 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 I had a good set. So uh, for somebody to like accidentally insult me just with social naivete, just so much better than an actual compliment. <laughs> sure, because then you have a you have a story. Whereas if someone gives you a compliment and then you just tell people about the compliment. Um, you just seem like a jackass because as comics, we're supposed to just talk about how much we hate ourselves. Wait, real quick, Gracie, so I'm not supposed to do that? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, which includes saying you are at a real live adult house in Mendocino. That yes, is a drag. No. Where is this place oh. you're talking about, Gracie? I don't know. Jesus. What, did I say it twice? You did. Yeah, you did. It's actually my favorite no, thing please. about Modesto because it sounds like a fancy way of saying modest. So there are places here that are like that are yes. like Taqueria Modesto, and I keep imagining going in there just being like. Our, our tacos are good. They're fine. I don't know. You know, you could probably get better ones somewhere else. You know, it's I, great. I don't I know what those people up, are doing here. I just looked up Mendocino and it's a commune in Italy. So oh. speaking of bougie, that's like, I can't even register Modesto. Oh, just, I just keep my thinking about my, my time in Italy. That's what's going yeah. on. I've never been there, but maybe in a past life. I just, this Ralph Lauren sweater has I uh, just assumed really because of your, your advanced lexicon that uh, this was like what you call a house type in Modesto. Like, oh, he's living in a Mesta- Modestino. This Do you is have a floors? Mendocino um, style three bedroom. <laughs> Uh, boy i was gonna say based on what brett was just talking about like the the getting the compliment is worse than getting a funny insult that you can tell us the story later my least favorite thing is when you someone gives you a compliment like in the merch line and you go oh my god thank you so much and then they just keep on going with the compliment and it's like i already said thank you so much like i don't want to act humble say, any yeah. longer you know just like mm. oh you were so great oh thank you so much just you, you, you yeah. up there so funny you know oh thank you that's very sweet thank you so much i just man i, I can't wait to go home and watch your videos because <laughs> man that was so funny oh thank you so much that was great. i'm totally gonna jerk off to him uh, <laughs> me too. Garrett, i didn't i didn't know how to put a name to that annoyance that I felt. I couldn't put it into words, but you're right. That you fucking gotta, sucks. You got to get better of, of closing the, the thread there. I mean, you could, say, you could say, yeah, oh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, that's awesome. And then you go, well, thanks for coming out. Oh. I'm glad you had a good time. Ah, I like that. So I'm you got to start getting, getting the move, move it mm-hmm. along lines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or or you just, you don't be humble about it, and then they get uncomfortable Agreed. and they leave. <laughs> yeah. You or were great. Thanks. Yeah, you know what? And then they're like, I don't actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, my God, you were so funny. I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. I'm going to do that the next time a cab driver tries to get too chatty with me. I'm going to be, he's like, hey, where are you from? I'll be like, New York. Oh, cool. You like You like living there? I do. Well, and thanks for coming out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on social media. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. All right. Any other uh, fun business, everybody? No, oh, good catch up. Good let's catch get some up. Jokes. Yeah, let's, let's get, get to, to it. Jokes. Do we have an order for today? Yeah. We do have an order for today. Our order is Rob, Brett, Gracie, Jarrett. Ooh, what an Rob, Brett, Gracie, order. Jarrett. He knew I was going to be first. Oh, oh boy. Gracie. I've the, got... The way you're looking at your screen doesn't feel like you knew. You're yeah, it certainly first. doesn't. <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, 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 I knew, knew it, but I didn't first. know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got a couple of different jokes and they're such, they have such different flavors to them. It just, it, the, the conversation is going to change so significantly, I feel like, based on what it is that the joke is. All right, so, let's do it. I don't know if I should do one or the other. Da, da, da. Okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the more charged one here because it, it was more on my mind. Just something I thought that was kind of funny, but I don't really know if it has any legs. And if we don't go anywhere with it, I'll just try a more, a more basic, silly one. Okay, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a Kyle Rittenhouse adjacent joke. Okay, so okay, we'll we'll say that. Um, okay, so people really don't like uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, uh, a lot of people, old, young, different uh, walks of life. A friend of mine back from home, he was like, "That guy went somewhere he didn't belong. Nobody asked him to be there. He had an AR-15, and he was just looking for trouble." And I was like, "Aren't you in the military?" Like isn't that it's not like your thing? Like that's you love going places you don't belong with an AR fifteen looking for trouble. Okay. That's it. That's the concept there. That's all I had so far. Jarrett was shaking his head. What do you think? No, I like it. I think it's great. I like it. I would I would plan I don't think it would tip the joke to 
Oh, sorry. I don't think it would tip the joke to uh, to put that he's in the military before he gives this this comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that that would, I, I think that would that would clinch it for me if it was just. He's in the military, and then he says all these things. Then a few people will be getting it, and then as you say, "Isn't that your thing?" That would clinch it for the rest of the crowd. You know, it's so funny. That was the one little like I kept on going back and forth in my head. I was like, if I say he's a veteran, or if I say he's in the military, I'm like, is that just so obvious and stupid? So I, so I thank you because like I only have one shot to tell you the first time, and I was like, I don't know if I should include it or not. But mm. okay, you've, I think you've tipped the scales to say I think I should at least mention that first. You, even when you're saying, uh, you know. Uh, all, all types of people you could say like the last type of people even veterans mm. don't mm. like them uh then you can oh, lead okay. with that that'd be that'd be very heavy-handed on that but okay i'm down for that mm-hmm. yeah yeah actually that, that actually made tip it i take it back uh i think you should add somewhere in there like he tries to justify it. it's like no, no 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 this kid said he was going there to help and all he did was shoot a bunch of people and you're like yeah <laughs> he wanted to do nation building over there <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think also you can I like the suggestion of putting military up front and then maybe like pinning it afterwards you know mm-hmm. aren't you in the military blank and then I think you can also get specific with isn't that what you do you can be like oh do you mean like Afghanistan yes so hitting that more because then people don't have to make the jump of like what the military do and mm. then I think for a tag you can also be you can also make fun of him a little bit you can be mm. like yeah, and Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, teaching people to read and then, like, liberating women. And you're just like, wait, no. like, really hitting, the, <laughs> taking the analogy to a ridiculous place. Right, right. Uh, I love that. So, so yes, another iteration of this would be then that, uh, okay, so I say even, even, even a friend of mine from back home who's in the military, he said X, Y, Z. And then I can say, weren't you in Iraq? So maybe that, does that work if I, like, say the country specifically then? That way I don't have to repeat, repeat wording. Yeah. Also, what, what if you, um, like, once you make the point, you kind of back him into a corner if he shifts the goalposts to, uh, well, this was really all about Jacob Blake anyways. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he backs off. That. Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. Do you want the more parallels term. between the military and the Kyle Rittenhouse situation? Like, is that the direction that you want to go in the joke? Because uh, you can do that for a while. Mm-hmm. Sure, you can yeah, use, can, like, the can... self-defense thing, you know, like... yeah. The, the idea of the military going in uh, to these countries, you know, what's the word? Pro- prodding them? Provoking. There provoking. We go. Yeah. Uh, now, now, right. now I'm out of vocab words, but provoking the situation and then being shocked when, like, people fight back. But I don't know if that starts sounding like pro-ISIS. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's pro it's pro insurgency, which I'm like, I don't know. You went into their yeah. country, <laughs> started killing yeah. people. I was like, you're gonna get an insurgency. Yeah, it, it's funny. Uh, no, that's exactly the, the the point that I was making or or want to make, and wouldn't mind like doubling and even tripling down on. the The reason I thought of this was because there was uh, it was a guy who was like, hey man, you know, a, a veteran here just want to weigh in, and he kind of like laid out all, and it was so funny to me. I was like, wow, what a what a strange like person to be like, hey, just so you know, like we had people like that over in Iraq too. And guess what? They were insurgents. And, and I was like, it's so weird coming from you. <laughs> like, no offense to you, man. But it sounds like you're doing you do that thing. <laughs> like you're you're, yeah. you're you're totally pro that thing. <laughs> you're oh, what's what's so important? You gotta protect a gas station? <laughs> uh you mean like oil? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, that. oh, that's really, that's great. <laughs> um, and I think there are different, like, you can kind of say how, if Kyle Rittenhouse had been, like, a military guy or something, how that wouldn't have made matters better. Because then, like, they would have still killed people. Just He would have still killed someone just, like, very tactically. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, you <laughs> would know, have done this so, first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. With like more people, and then talk. I think you could also. This is like a pitch, but yeah, just talking pitches. about what makes an AR-15 okay over there versus over here in this situation. Like, what right. are the specific things? Mm. Oh, because um, also the state lines. You cross state lines. I'm like, yeah, I that, again. You cross the fucking <laughs> ocean. <laughs> yeah. I was like, not. I mean, I don't know how much I believe in either of these things, but if we're talking lines, like, <laughs> clearly. Well, yeah. the difference is that we don't know for a fact that any of the 
hmm. Afghani rebels were uh, convicted child molesters. So <laughs> that's that's technically. True. <laughs> Wait, was he? Uh, uh, one of the guys oh, in Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rose uh, and Bob were the other dude. <clears throat> I can't remember. Brett, did I you say ocean lines? I said nation lines. Oh, but then nation I lines. Think, I said uh, ocean. She said ocean. She ocean lines is really yeah. funny. I like that. You crossed yeah. the ocean lines. <laughs> yeah, that's better. You crossed multiple time zones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. You got it. Did you want to do your other one? Uh, I'd happily do it. I still want to you know, take up too much time is all. Um, okay, I'll go for it. Uh, so, uh, I might start be like, all right, about me, uh, I'm a victim blamer. That's something you should know about me. Uh, not women. That's, that's wrong. Uh, uh, uh if I've got plenty of, uh, uh, female friends, if, when they tell me stories about sexual harassment, I would, I never say, I would never say, what were you wearing or something like that. However, three separate times in my life, Male friends of mine have come to me and told me stories about how they were mugged, robbed, and even beaten up. And every single time, all three times, I said, were you wearing headphones? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can't wear headphones, man. I, you just, I, you got to not do that. You got. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the original uh, bit there. Uh, and I just want to be like, I, I would never, like, for women, we got to protect our women. But for guys, basically, that's my my head's at, like, you know, you got to let them do whatever they want. Men, you got to not wear headphones at 2 a.m. You can't be doing that. Sorry. You got you know the rules. Like, you're going to got to look out for yourself there. Something along those lines. Anyway, I can pause there. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Um, I, w- I would like for you to uh, put what you, what are you wearing earlier in the joke? Uh, because there's okay. no that there's no risk of tipping it there. Uh, mm. I'm never gonna think what were you wearing and that you're gonna go to headphones. So I think that Got that it. that misdirection or that surprise is still gonna be there. No problem. Okay, great. I like that. Can um, you add yeah, and then a- just speeding that up too, like speeding it up because the punchline is so short. Um, so just, I think you can condense the whole thing and like see how short you can get it, and then add on more, and then also for a tag something about like beats or bows noise cancellation Mm. things like if you're you know like if you have bows you're gonna get like straight up murdered so (laughs) something like the more noise it cancels out the worse the crime that's funny if you have beats that's what you're you're gonna get (laughs) (laughs) i like that that's great uh Uh, can you do more after the fact the shitty response of a man to a woman getting sexually harassed. Like, you know, were you, were you showing them off at a party? You know, it's like, Oh, check out new AirPods, everybody. Yeah, of course. Obviously. I kind of think you wanted to get mugged, you know, <laughs> what were you listening to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was really, really loud. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you I'm can't. Sure there's there's some you... song that would imply like you're, you're oh, up to funny. me. Uh, mugged in some way didn't um, you lend those headphones to a friend of yours a couple of days before oh so that was okay that was okay <laughs> all right oh, okay yeah yeah no yeah right, so i have something that's a little more heady like that follows this uh to kind of answer to your point gracie of, of it being like a short punchline but i don't know when any of this is funny but this is me philosophizing a bit uh i don't know why i i don't i just basically i don't have sympathy for men and I don't know exactly why I don't have sympathy for men, but I think it's because, like, you know the rules. The rules haven't changed for men in generations. It's like, like the rules for women keep on changing. I wear this, don't wear that, talk, you can't go to work, do go to work, come back home, whatever. Like, socially, the rules are all the... But for men, it's just like, it hasn't changed since, since the Old West. <laughs> you know, you look a guy in the eye for too long, he's going to want to fight you. Don't wear headphones. <laughs> like, like, just, I don't care. <laughs> if you got beat, that's on you. So it's something along those lines. Is that, does that track at least a little bit? Uh, I, like the, I like that angle a lot. It's not, I don't know what the, the, the part for me that the rules are changing for women. Mm, okay. um, that I think needs to be ironed out a little bit more. That didn't quite connect with me, but the, the rules have always been the same for men. Uh, mm. is, is very funny to me. Well, I know that it's like, don't guys... show your wares. Don't show yeah. your wares. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't show your wares unless you're, it's like Brooklyn, it's the Wild West out here. It's the Wild <laughs> East. Uh, I think a lot of guys, I think there needs to be, maybe this will work, I don't know, but when I heard the rules haven't changed for men, I started thinking about all the 
red pill men's rights activists who are like, oh, the rules haven't changed for guys. So I can just go grab a butt at my office and not get in trouble. Cool. Thank you. You know, <laughs> so I can imagine some mm. shitty dudes in the audience the, the, objecting the rules, to that framing. The queen guys have. Not yeah. Changed. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah, there's some, yeah, it's so brand new. I, I literally thought of this this stuff like a lot last night, and I was like, ah, oh, this is kind of funny. Maybe I could bring it bring it tomorrow. And and but you're right. I haven't really like thought through my own philosophy on it. But but I just just little little touches yeah, and pieces. That's what there. we're doing here. Oh, yeah, boy. I think um, the original just as is, as you said, it was really funny. Like we cool. all we all laughed when this direction worked. So already off to a strong start. Awesome, thank you. Right. Uh, great. Well, I'm happy to move on. All, All right, right. Rob Ryan. Good job, Rob. Next up, we got Rick. Okay. Rick. Um, my girlfriend is gluten-free, but she's kind of new to it. So when we're ordering food, sometimes I have to remind her of stuff. Uh, she'll get a Caesar salad, and I'll be like, remember, no croutons. And then I feel like I have to explain to the server that she's gluten-free, because otherwise I'd look <laughs> really bad. I'm like... Because she's gluten free, not not because she's fat. I'm, she's not fat. If she was fat, that would be fine too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being fat. Well, there is a line of obesity that is not good for your health. I mean, some people have like a thyroid condition, so they literally can't help gaining weight. But most people, on average, it is it's a matter of something is missing in their life and they don't feel fulfilled, so they overeat. But do you guys have milkshakes? <laughs> that's it. That's the joke. Your girlfriend like, comes in and like, actually, just fuck him. I'm getting wings or something. And then my <laughs> girlfriend's like, actually, can I get wings or actually can I get a milkshake? Just like bringing her into this like, OK, I'm I'm saving you. I'm cutting you off. Uh, uh, I like the there's like the angle of I am telling this woman not to get croutons because I don't want her to get fat. But it can also be blown out to just I'm not a controlling, uh, abusive person in this relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't just have to be the fat angle. It could also be like, she has, she has, she can do what she wants. She oh, can do whatever she funny. wants. Yeah. You know, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> if like, you push the, no, no. I'll get a slice of pizza, you. cauliflower crust. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just look it up. Uh, is, if, if, is there one other thing? Is there one other thing that she could also be forgetful about that is that is equally damning to, to kind of button this joke? Like, did she also? Oh, and don't don't let me forget my makeup. No, I can't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please don't give me that job. <laughs> That's really funny. I love that angle. <laughs> I think just a suggestion to add to your freak out is, you know, I'm not going to have croutons either. No, no. You know what? No one should have croutons. Just get rid of all the croutons in this restaurant. Make them illegal, like violently backtracking. Mm. This is just another thing on the pile of awful things that she could ask you to remind her. Just like, oh, I'm trying to get to the gym later. Would you remind me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I love that. That's great. I guess maybe this could be just like a matter of, of performance, but uh, because you're so self-conscious about looking bad, I was trying to weigh the, the value of of countering yourself by then by again saying something that could be construed as bad um mm. I don't, but i don't i don't mind that it's there it seems valuable but maybe it's a matter of the performance where you could give like a weak retort uh to the the, the bad argument again and then overly compensate with the other one where again you're like I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess some people, I mean, I guess technically it's, it's, it's unhealthily bad, but, but, but I know that there's a lot of people who can't help it because they have a thyroid issue. So, you know, just so I you see. can continue to be in the, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that you are so like, I'm not trying to say the wrong thing here, right, 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 but then right. your, oh, your I logic see. brain like cannot help, but just be like, uh, but of course, you know, you don't want to be a beast, yeah. but, uh, but I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, that would, there's something about that that would even like elevate that joke further with that. For me, yeah. Sure, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What if you did a thing where you talk about your girlfriend being really funny and playing up the making it seem like you are an abusive person? So, like, as you're going through this explanation, she's just going like, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Lee, you would do that. <laughs> uh, they're dating, by the way. I don't know if we you knew that. Guy. Yeah, yeah, I picked up on that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. When, Thank you. when Jared said, it'd be funny if your girlfriend did this. And I said, 
Didi would do that. Is that how you connected it? <laughs> I connected it before, but oh, okay. yeah, this was mm, this sharp. is just a, an affirmation that I was my hunch was correct. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I think it would be hard for me to do the with the rant. It would be hard for me to get her in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, that's just a matter of performance. Uh, yeah, and I like you adding, adding the milkshake thing at the end too. That's just funny. Like like at the end, you just not showing too much concern over your own weight it was hilarious. It's very funny to me. No, one really straw. That's a joke. That's a joke. She can have whatever she wants. <laughs> that's, really uh, that's great. <laughs> that's good feedback. Thanks, guys. You made me think of something else that's not really related, but it, it's almost like, you know, people always have Siri remind them to do things. Depending on what they have Siri remind them to do, like it almost, Siri does sound like like uh, an overbearing boyfriend. Or, or spouse or significant other, you know? <laughs> it's just like, you know, don't forget to go to the gym. Don't forget to this. I'm like, God, man, first of all, leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Let me live my life. Uh, can I ask you guys an qu- unrelated question? When you're doing uh, voice assistant stuff, do you have trouble speaking English? Because I get nervous sometimes oh, when no. it's time. Like, I just can't put words together. I'm like, like a girl what, you have a crush on. what weather? What, uh, <laughs> the weather? What, what is the weather? Today, night. Night or day, sometime. <laughs> I think you just have to treat them like your bitch, you know, which I'm going <laughs> to regret saying in the inevitable AI takeover. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you have to, like, you're in charge. You're the Gracie, boss. You a computer is it. watching this right now. <laughs> I'm, and I'm it's watching a, a computer. <laughs> so damn it. But yeah, Sorry. just be like, Alexa, what's the weather? Let's do this. She can hear me from the other room. Maybe she changed no, to a, a direct, man's that, voice. Direct, that's the you problem. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it was a hypothetical. I don't, I don't have that issue. <laughs> I, uh, I do that a little bit when I'm doing voice to text. Like if I'm trying to text my friend a response to something, I will sometimes be very inelegant in what I'm responding back, and that is want to be. Uh, I just start over. I can't go on Tuesday because I have a thing where. It's sort of like, oh, this is going to be weird to read. Uh, yeah, I do that. That's I, funny. And I'm so happy to hear that someone else under the age of 50 uses dictation. I mm-hmm. literally I it. use it because I just, I'm so sick of staring at my phone all the time. It's like yeah. my eyes are melting. So dictation, bound to cause confusion. Yeah, for sure. That's the tagline for it. Dictation. Yeah. Found a cause confusion. Use it. Use it your own risk. Dictation right. will ruin some relationships. <laughs> Anything else right. for Brett, everybody? Okay, let's uh, move it along then. I yeah. will take that as a no. Next up, we got Crazy Cannon. But before we get to that, just want to remind everybody to check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash ITA pod. A lot of great exclusive content on there. The high riding challenges. The sleepover. That was a three-part series. It is this anything at the movies? Um, lots of other cool things. Stickers, cool tears. You don't need to get any of that stuff if you don't want it. If you just want to support the show, fucking get out there. You can be a sponsor for as little as a dollar a month. Did you watch Dune Part 1 and go, oh, I wish Part 2 was already out? Well, with the sleepover, it already is. And Part 3. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. And did you watch Dune and think, there's too many camera angles? I wish there was just like one or two camera <laughs> angles. <laughs> we got that. We got that for you. <laughs> Patreon.com slash ITA pod. Next up, we got Gracie Kanan. All right. Kanan. <clears throat> yeah, you nailed it. All right. I was Kanan. thinking about Kanan. running one by you that I already have that's like doing okay and punching it up. But I'm actually sure. just going to give you one that's like, I don't, it's not even, a, it's like totally half baked. It's way more All of a right. concept. Nice. Is that okay? Oh, I love it. After hearing our jokes, you're like, I think I'm going to give you the shit. <laughs> no, I thought we brought good it. jokes. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I was like, well, it's going back to what we talked about at the beginning, where I was like, I can figure that one out by myself. But this one is literally like, it's been, it's been cropping up in my head for a year. And I'm like, I just need I to flush this out, make it funny. All right. So um, the whole thing is like, I grew up in a family of snobs, but we were like, not rich, really bad snobs. Like we were bad. Like, for example, it's like my mom would never, I've never set foot in an Applebee's. Like my mom would never, she's like, I would never let you kids go to an Applebee's. But our favorite restaurant was Chili's. (laughs) <laughs> so I just <laughs> because like as we know the oh, awesome blossom good. is a royal recipe that's handed down by generations. 
So that's pretty much it. I just think that's and it was something I realized like a few weeks ago. I was like, that bitch. That's no, I love so her. Funny. In case she she has a habit of finding podcasts I'm on and listening to them. So <laughs> in case you just heard me say that bitch, it was endearing, mom. <laughs> it was about an Alexa. <laughs> yeah, um, yes. That's, that's wonderful. Really funny. And also it's it's funny that now you are like your mom was a snob and raised you that way, but now you're also like literally grabbing trash clothing from the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like there's still snobs about it. And I'm like, I'm just admitting what we've always been, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are discerning, I'm sure, like, to, like in your own way. And this is what tickles me about this concept and I really, really love because I, I, I think that this is very relatable because I think everybody has like, you know, a, 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 some kind of socioeconomic status that they grew up in and they have like what they would not do and what they think is above them, below them. So maybe maybe the angle is like, it was, it's more about specificity. And so that way, uh, and, and you could never get a read on it. So that way you can incorporate more stuff. Cause I would love to see more examples of, we would, we would shop at Kmart, but we wouldn't go to target. Uh, we would, you know, it's just weird, like specific lines in the sand that your mother drew to be like, yeah. no, no, <laughs> not <laughs> the Canaan family. The word, they love the word lowbrow. Like, love that. And I think it, which is, like, so, and it's, like, we would say that as children. Like, as six-year-olds, we'd be, like, oh, my God, I'm such a lowbrow, which so is funny. insane. Um, and I just think it's uh, this whole idea of you'll say whatever you have to say to feel better than most people. Right. Like, my mom would take us to Burger King, but she's not going to order off the dollar menu. That's, yeah. what is that? That's, what are we, a bunch yeah. of poor poppers, you know? <laughs> the, the, Only so, top shelf at yeah. Burger King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, there is a phrase that I've said many times in my life, which is that I said, for some reason, I go to the worst places and demand the best. Like, I'll march into a checkers and be like, how dare you? These apple pies are <laughs> lukewarm at best. <laughs> I'm just like, I paid a dollar for these. <laughs> well, it's like feeling rich for cheap. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. It's, you're, it's very Trumpian. You're getting that feeling for a bargain. Yeah, that's great. That's very, very true. I'm wondering if, because I think it's super funny. I'm wondering, and I think I think is funny about it is this confusion that I have where if you had asked me which one is the high class one, Applebee's or Chili's, I wouldn't have been able to tell you i wouldn't be able to have been like well obviously chilies is like a little bit better than applebee's you know or something right. like that i think it's so funny oh <laughs> like if i was like which makes sense like yeah. I'm still kind of brainwashed there which yeah right which is I, like i mean they have a thing called the or i have to look up the chilies recipe or yeah. something I, i'll or just like second that. The jared's notion that I, I would not have known the difference between the the class quality in chilies mm -hmm. or applebee's to me they're, they're and where okay. tgi fridays falls on that spectrum you oh know, no like, absolutely yeah, not absolutely no tgi fridays <laughs> no mm -hmm. de Bebo, chilies totally okay is so what funny. is <laughs> one step above chilies that you wouldn't been able to afford is this like oh, one course. day california pizza kitchen <laughs> you know yeah, yeah i i really i funny. rank olive garden to be the 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 king among the them where they're yeah. the when king people... among them. Yeah. <laughs> Rob is a bit of a wordsmith himself as well. <laughs> special occasions, we went to Olive Garden. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes, to, to know that hierarchy well was, is very funny to me. And if you don't, if you don't want to go that angle, whereas Jarrett was pointing out, there is something funny in being like, there, like maybe you could point out to the audience, like just so you know, there is no like definitive line that says one is worse than the other. My mom just decided one day that <laughs> one was worse than the other. And there's something right. just equally funny to that. And like I said, then you could pull in all these other examples if you wanted to about like, or why. like I just found out, I just assumed that Chili's was the only one with like unlimited white wine, like unlimited Chardonnay <laughs> or something like, <laughs> Right. Like maybe I have to do some research on chilies and like <laughs> deep dive into the Venn diagram between my mother and chilies. Um, what if you like as a kid are like, but mom, App Applebee's has half price appetizers, and she's like half quality appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> but like Br again, brings her own thermos of wine in. It's just so it's just basically what we're doing is like it's this nonsensical. It's like what are what do you want? Like yeah. what are you? Mm. That's really funny. Maybe I love the guy knowing. that 
Maybe the guy that sat you guys at the Chili's in your neighborhood just had a British accent. <laughs> and yeah. your mom was like, this is a restaurant. Well, that's the other part okay. is my mom is British. Oh, so I don't know if okay. that adds to it. Like maybe now that I think about it. That's, yeah. I mean, you that's obviously funny. know that the British accent is invented to separate themselves from colo like colonists. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, I, right. I would say that fits into it pretty well. Yeah, it's right. Perfect. Fantastic. Ooh, what if she, she did didn't let you guys that. get free refills ever because it was de classe? Right, right. Exactly. There's a whole thing. It's like no free appetizers, but this, but like no mm -hmm. kids menu. But um, yeah, I like no free refills. That's so funny. We don't want to look bad in front of the bartender. <laughs> in right. front of like ken who we always we don't want to like ken think we don't want ken to think we're struggling mm -hmm. like who's there okay Can I get cool another diet thanks coke? guys like another diet coke like i don't want you to refill this glass i want another diet yeah. coke charge me charge yeah, me for please. it I, I would All like right. to see somebody doing some of the the chili things that you would do but but being fancy in it like if there's some way that you can bring that in um I'm trying to think of like what's what's a really base level, what is a lowbrow thing that you would be doing in a Chili's? Um, right, it's like if you order wings, but you describe it another way. Like I will get the um, like organic, like your chicken that has been sure. like fried <laughs> into your finest extra virgin olive oil. It's like, are you trying to say wings? I will or... get a dozen of the sesame glazed dark meat roasted yeah. to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Are, are you, is that what you were saying, Brett? I almost feel like you were suggesting yeah. the opposite. Or, or am I getting that wrong? Where you were, where what's a lowbrow thing to do in Chili's? Was that what you were asking? Yeah, I want you to be doing something that you would do in Chili's, but but being fancy about it. So yeah, oh, that's that's oh, about right. What what I get like a Long Island iced tea with I don't know, like the Long Island iced tea burger lobster combo imitation right. crab are combo, you, like getting something just. Uh, you get your Disgusting. Long Island iced tea in a wine glass so you can swirl it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or maybe like you, you're particular about how the silverware is while you're eating the wings. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to get at. Oh, I see. The it, fact so. that you use silverware to eat wings. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Uh, is the crummer going to come over here? We're about to <laughs> prepare our main course. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse uh, me, sir. When you microwave my mozzarella sticks, could you not just <laughs> press the apps button on the microwave? Could you do it for a, a full three minutes? Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. I keep yeah, on thinking of this. I don't know where this fits in, but I just keep on thinking of the waiter coming over and just being like, Madam, your yard of beer. <laughs> um, exactly. Every time you leave the thing. chilies, you always say our compliments to the chef. And it's just yes. the guy's just like, okay. okay. There's no chef here. We get freeze dried bags <laughs> mailed in every week. Uh, for some Our reason, I have. GPS. There's something in my head that I just think is funny. And I don't, again, I don't really know how to fit this in, but I love the idea of like your mom like knowing some of the neighbors and feeling like she's better than them. And then all of a sudden, like one of the neighbors comes into the chilies and she's like, oh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> I guess the Johnsons must be doing well. Um, <laughs> okay, and then they, she goes over, she still tries to pull rank, like, oh, you're getting appetizers too. We're, we're getting desserts over here at our but table. At our, if you maybe we want to join us for desserts, we're going to, you know, we, we like to order yeah. <laughs> something along those lines. Still trying to make them, or just, or just jealous, like, oh, dude, okay. <laughs> I like that maybe instead of, um, uh, oh, they must be doing well, just maybe thinking that like the Chili's is getting grosser now. So I guess they let anybody in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Chili's has gone to the dogs. <laughs> yeah. uh, By the way, remember to take this home for the dogs. <laughs> um, That's, no, I love that one too. Punch. They're letting Jews in. <laughs> oh my god did i mention my mom's also big? Oh, <laughs> my you said british right yeah, 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 same thing, same thing. He's labor, you know. yeah. Um, yeah if you could treat it like a country club i think yeah that that entertains me quite a bit oh mm. that, that's a distinction mom uh, uh, um, uh we'll, we'll get the chicken fingers mozzarella sticks and wings mom let's just get the sampler we are not a sampler family <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the three separate appetizers. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. 
What if you use yeah, the wrong crazy. dipping sauce for something? <laughs> and your mom's just like, I am so, oh my God. I, I didn't so raise sorry. you. <laughs> I didn't raise you to dip your fries in honey mustard. <laughs> it simply yeah. isn't done. <laughs> Cheese sticks go in mozzarella. It's it, it go, goes in marinara. It's Italian. <laughs> we do not put our cheese sticks in ranch. It's Chipotle ranch. Yeah, we are not homeless people. My favorite is Your to family... dip. Or, I like to line them up and then just... Like a flight? <laughs> like a little dip yeah. flight? <laughs> Your family is basically the Grey Poupon advertising campaign. <laughs> Wait, I don't know oh, that. that well enough. Oh, Grey Poupon it... was just like uh, the, the whole advertising campaign was, was like, the, like, oh, we're, we're not going to use regular mustard. We're going to use Grey Poupon. And then they yeah. would like grab it from a limo or something like that. But it's it's mustard in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like your classy if you have this. So that's what Chili's is. All right. Well, thanks, y'all. That was super helpful. And Thank you, Gracie. What a great bit. Chili's act, act, yeah. accent. Act out. And British accent. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, great bit. Right. Thanks for bringing it to us. Next up, bag and clean up. We got... Jared Bernstein. Okay, I got a couple of sh- weird things that are kind of like separate. You know, just like weird ideas. Um, this is the first one. And this might actually be a bit. I don't know. Um, the older I get, the more that I'm fine being lame. And it actually makes me feel bad for people that are like super cool. Like they don't get the joy of being lame. Like I think about a guy like John Legend. And I'm like, did John Legend ever get to look at like traffic and be like, whew, glad we're not over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. That's all I got for that. That's really funny. I think you can do like a harder juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. Like when when you set it up with lame, I think like binge watching on your couch or like eating Uh, Cheetos off your stomach or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I think lame, I think, Mm -hmm. or if you want to do something, say like dad like joke and then the traffic thing. And, Mm -hmm. but if you're going to do lame, for example, it should be like lame as in you're a nerd, you're lazy, you don't go out. (laughs) This is just my excuse to just absolutely bag on Jared. I love it. You've wasted (laughs) your life. Okay. You don't don't need an excuse. Uh, Gracie, we just, you (laughs) can just do it. (laughs) I mean, you you don't (laughs) shave because you're, I don't know when the last time you showered was, (laughs) you know, (laughs) you know what? Fuck you, Jared. I don't know. (laughs) No, I, I think you can do like, lame right and then someone's so fucking cool who parties like lenny kravitz right like mm-hmm. john legend mm-hmm. is good he's awesome but i don't think of him as i do think of him as kind of like a dad homebody like you yeah, know, happy yeah marriage he's blah 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 and then you finish yeah, yeah. it with something that lines up with your lame so lame like lenny kravitz will never know the joy of you know eating only pasta with butter on it or you know <laughs> not i don't know like like eating just the cheese and cheese powder and the mac in like the craft mac and cheese or mm-hmm. something so you could even say if you go that route you can say like gross you can say so just making sure it's like the thing the opposite of the thing an example of the thing mm-hmm. like do you think that lenny kravitz could ever just like mention the weather you know because like otherwise because it's just small talk like could lenny kravitz pull that off i don't think so i think if lenny kravitz was like yeah we're getting a lot of rain aren't we and you'd be like what 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 (laughs) he has to be interesting all the time he can't talk about the weather he has to walk into a room and take his pants off i mean like that's he has to like or or bring up if you do go lenny kravitz do the slide thing where like his dick falls out (laughs) that was like a thing that happened apparently but anyway enough about lenny kravitz send me that video uh lenny kravitz (laughs) tells you what's going on with the weather with his giant scarf (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Lenny Kravitz doesn't need to say it's been real cold because he's walking around <laughs> in a it's giant uh, scarf. <laughs> he just only the size of the scarf changes like oh is it light scarf weather already oh wow I guess <laughs> It just makes Lenny me think of Lenny Kravitz at the has beach. Spoken. <laughs> it makes me think of him at the beach in a speedo, but also <laughs> like the first Chinese. Oh, there's scarf. sharks out today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. When Lenny Kravitz is at a barbecue, could he ever be like, "Let me get one of those wieners"? <laughs> <laughs> 
I apologize, Jared. I feel like (laughs) yeah, I I do understand your joke and and joke premise. We're kind of going Mm -hmm. off in different directions, which is funny. No, that's fine. This all works. Um, I derailed it. Sorry. uh, It's like when when, now it's quite interesting because Gracie has a good point. I I know what you mean by lame. So I was like Mm -hmm. on the same like dad uh, uh, boring joke kind of talking guy. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe a tweak of the language there so that nobody thinks lame in the way that she she thought lame. Would corny uh, mm-hmm. do the trick? Ooh, there. corny. Uh, the thing about corny is I feel like corny is is different than lame. I feel like lame is able to be, if you're just like being lazy and you don't really care hmm. about appearing cool, you become you become lame. Whereas you corny is like an effort corny is like you have to go out of your way to be corny you mm-hmm. know and That's so true. i mean i think that for the tags that i am suggesting like glad we're not over there talking about the weather yeah. like all that stuff is kind of corny so that kind of works better but for the right. premise right right of it's so much more relaxing to be lame. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't yeah. want to change it to corny. So maybe there's a way that I can square that circle. Just, just as long as you say it's the opposite of cool, I get it 100%. Like, mm, I, I just okay, think Gracie okay. was pointing out that lame could also mean like, I'm lame, I just eat and I'm fat and I'm gross. And it's like, but that's not or, what you're really getting at. I think you could also play up, you could just use boring, but set it up with like, because this is how I feel. And I don't know if this is like, but as I get older, I'm more mm. and more okay with being boring. You know, like being mm. interesting. You just try to be interesting and cool all as a teenager and all throughout your 20s. Mm. And then you kind of realize you're like, that's like, like all of these Doc Martens I bought were like real. It's like a real time and effort suck. Like I am so okay with Reeboks now. Uh, I, just, I, I will break those in being, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's like funny. if you have not tried being boring. In fact, I feel bad for people who can't who like are still trying, you know, like Lenny Kravitz never gets to be born. Lenny Kravitz never yeah. says, yeah. what is the weather like? Right. Which he mm-hmm. doesn't have to because of his giant fucking scarf, like making it a whole flow. Tied it all together. Like Lenny Kravitz does to his scarf. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So also sorry. reminds I me of. Why I'm fixing it. <laughs> no, no, it's great. It's super funny. Uh, I also thinking about something that Brett did on tour once where like we saw horses as we were driving down the street and Brett was like, horsies like that. And I was like, you can just be, you don't have to like play it up. Like you can just be excited about seeing horses, you know? And my response yeah, to that and he was, was like, no. Oh yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I wasn't sure if you were going to leave he, that out. And he was like, yeah, no, that was my sincere being excited about horses. Going, Whoa, horses. Yeah. Whoa. I, I'm just comfortable enough around you to tell you <laughs> how horses. I really feel, which is horsey. Horsey. <laughs> Uh, and but there's yeah, so many would... ways you can take this too. You can say mm-hmm. like, if you wanted to take this a different way and you can just like try these out, you're like, I'm so happy. I don't have to be like macho or ma-. you know what I mean? Like I've yeah. left that all behind. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I saw horsey, you know, I feel bad for insert like John Cena, you know, he can never be driving past horses and say horse. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's really, you can like, this is a great, uh, like joke machine. <laughs> Because you yeah. can just keep like twisting these this little slot mm-hmm. machine until you get one that's like, oh, you're like, okay, that's the one. So that's excellent note. I love it. Well, you guys have given me a lot to work on for the show. I'm a lot more confident in it now. But just as a side note, you guys are making me think of this because Curse and I were just in San Francisco and we were walking around. San and- Francisco, Italy? <laughs> <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> we were walking around this very like touristy area, you know, that was like right by the water. Mm-hmm. And we looked over by the water and we saw like this little seal just like pop its head out and then go away. And I like lost my mind. And I was like, oh my God, there was a seal. Come back. Come back, seal. Oh, and then we like <laughs> waited there for like way too long trying to wait for the seal, seal if the seal would pop his head back up and then i was like oh, okay then we walk like 10 feet along this this like a little railing and we see like a bunch of people just like conglomerate like with their phones out and everything and there were these little docks these floating docks that had i would say something like four dozen sea lions just like lounging on it <clears throat> and if you thought my reaction to like a little seal poking his head out of the water was enormous you heard from from a mile away. You would have heard me go. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, and like and the joy faster, that, that brings you. Know? <laughs> and Kirsten was like, "What is it?" And I was like, "Sea lion, sea lion." I was speed walking. My fanny pack almost came right <laughs> off my hip. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's amazing. That's perfect. <laughs> Is there something else I could be wearing in addition uh, to a fanny pack? Because I'm thinking yeah. about like one of those hats. Yeah, that, like, my my my, 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 blue, my off, bucket my hat. My bucket hat. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> Taken yeah. right off. It's trendy now, though. Those are those are uh, yeah. on trend. You gotta find something dorky or like a fisherman's hat or a visor or something. Yeah, I am never are always going to allow. That. I'm never going to allow bucket hats to be cool. I will never. <laughs> Isn't a fisherman's are, cap a bucket hat? Happened. What did you say, oh, Grace? Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the same. Then we're not talking about the same thing. A bucket hat not not being a a fisherman's cap. I don't know. I picture the bucket hats are smaller, and then fisherman's caps are like. Oh, floppy. oh, oh! You mean like okay, okay, like I like I know what you did last summer type fucking hat. Mm. Okay, I uh, like visors. Funny. I kind of want like those dumb wraparound sunglasses, but that almost feels like different than Oakley's. Yeah, that feels like I'm trying to be like a redneck or something. Yeah, that's a very specific uh, yeah. type of dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I, I ran out of my Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you, you asked somebody to get well, your Crocs digital are cool camera. Too. Uh, maybe you asked somebody to grab your digital camera. <laughs> I feel like a dad would still have like a digital camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Digicam. He has, a, Digi he has a separate camera. I make a point to say how many megapixels it is. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take I, a picture with this 12 megapixels <laughs> i was so i was forgot to put my sunscreen on i was so excited <laughs> i had to refold my map <laughs> somebody get the video camera <laughs> <laughs> oh you got a video of this you got a video of it gotta... <laughs> that's really funny oh uh, i love that there's something that was so and then if you sweet tell about that, that whole if you tell that whole thing and mm -hmm. really paint this vivid picture of how lame you are and then finish like, I just feel bad that blank will never get yeah. to know that feeling. Yeah, um, and then like, it's already funny, deep breath, like tag to it. Yeah. Um, I can give, give you one more example of uh, that type of joke when somebody forgets something after leaving and then they come back because they forgot it. And then whoever's still there goes, that was quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got them dad jokes. I got them. I'm full up with them. Uh, so that was excellent, guys. Thank you so much. I have one other quick thing that I wanted to ask you about. It's so dumb, but I thought of this idea and I was like, I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I was thinking about Leonardo DiCaprio and how his girlfriends are always like super young. And he's also really passionate about climate change. And so I don't know if this is a joke or a tweet or something, but I was like, Leonardo DiCaprio is very passionate about climate change. He's like, what kind of world are we leaving for our girlfriends? <laughs> yeah. That's super That's funny. Great. I like that a, yeah. a lot. I don't think you have to say our girlfriend. If he says my girlfriend, well, both is fine. Both is fine. Yeah, uh, love it. But I kind of like our girlfriend. Girl yeah, yeah, yeah. Our children. Our I children know. or mm -hmm. our grandchildren, you know. Yeah. And he's also saying it in a way that's like, it's normal. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, right, right, no, right. that we never date anybody above the age of 25, even when we're 80. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. You could combine them and say my girlfriend's. Yeah, my girlfriend, because oh. my kid. Oh. My, my kids, my girlfriends. Yeah, what kind yeah. of, yeah, my girlfriends. That's actually really funny, too. That's great. And then also, I feel like they're always on yacht. So maybe there's some kind <laughs> of so like, funny. why, Leonardo, why are you even worried? You guys are just going to float float. your way. Like, you're going to be fine. Just you just have you and your... more yacht land. Is yeah. Free. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Leonardo <laughs> Um, there, there, you remember uh, Anthony DeVito's got a joke uh, like that too. Where he's just like, oh, oh, I got a girlfriend yeah. now. She's much younger than me. Every once in a while, like she'll kind of show her age a little bit by doing something. That's, and then my friends will come to me and be like, hey, man, you know, what's up? And I'll be like, hey, don't you tell me how to raise my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm not even, I mean, I guess my question is like, like, is, is this something that can be sh structured in a way where I'm like, we, I have to talk about Leonardo DiCaprio's super young girlfriends and the climate change thing. And oh, so I'm just thinking out loud right now. I don't know how I would format this. You know? I, don't know. I think you can tie it to that joke that you just did. Like, Ooh, I think if you do that whole thing, celebrity, but the perks of being a celebrity are this Leonardo DiCaprio, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know if that's a lead in. Mm -hmm. mm, that's true. Yeah, it's possible, you know. I think you could also just mention like Leonardo DiCaprio uh, is really into climate change, which I think is funny because it's like mm -hmm. he's saying. Yeah. What kind of a world are we leaving for our girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah. He I, loves I, climate change. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so new and it's, it's 
Uh, it's only about 20 years old. Yeah, about- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, once, uh, once you know, the CO2 levels get to a certain place, it'll be 2050 and he won't be interested anymore. You know, it's weird. Oh, I, had the, I, had, I had the weird experience when, um, when I saw uh, Usher like doing w- w- the voice, I guess it was. And he was just like, Usher, just like 40 years old, just being a guy. And I was like, aren't you Usher? Like, shouldn't you be, <laughs> shouldn't you be cooler than this? He was just talking normal. And I was like, wait, why aren't you dancing and like doing <laughs> cool things? It was so you weird. Doing the laser lights Every around you. Yeah. He was just a black guy. And I was like, that's <laughs> good for you. But I thought you were Usher. It's so weird because my, my experience with this is that like musicians have like two levels of fame. Like they're not just famous, but then they also have to come. They're almost like, like wrestlers. They have to come up with like a personality and an image based mm. all around them. So it's not just like, oh, I'm a singer. I'm Christina Aguilera, and I've got this whole team working on exactly how I look whenever I'm in person, blah, blah, blah. So when they do age and they are just like, yeah, I'm like a 35-year-old person who is also a good singer. Like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> like when that starts going away, it's just so much more of a of a shock because of the disparity of like, what the fuck? Like, because mm-hmm. you not only were famous, but then they also built an image around you. So it's just a, such a weird uh, ex, uh, transition to go through where some people just never do. And you're just like, nah, man, I'm sorry. If <laughs> I got to be Lenny Kravitz till the day I die, because mm-hmm. otherwise it, dr- the drop off's going to look crazy. And they just don't. They just hold on to it. So I, I, I love this concept. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. Thanks, awesome. Rob. Thanks, everybody, for the notes. <clears throat> you got it. Great job. Um, well, I think it is time. To see some drawings from a lady who's an artist. Her name is Lady Corbin. Here she goes with her drawings. Nice. That was amazing. Job, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, right. I actually just made that up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. I know. That's incredible. I never, never had one lesson. We're going to edit all this out. So if you guys want to see. Lady and I are dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that the drawing is just you two together in a heart, and I'll be like, "Hold on, hold on!" I knew it. What are you guys trying to pull here? Oh, oh boy, uh, I wish. But my first drawing is Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> mm. uh, oh, storms are coming. <laughs> then I've got. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm Einstein. Oh, nice. there you go. That's it. Wow, that's an uh, animation. Awesome. That's so cool. Ooh, just a Lay Miz reference. I shoot one in this episode. I like. I, like I am that. never gonna get and mad at a Lay Miz reference. Mollusk. <laughs> um, <laughs> which I think I'll never look at again after this episode. A little clam on his head. Yeah. Oh, oh a think. mollusk. Yes, I literally just connected. I do know what a mollusk is. For some reason, I'm saying mollusk. Oh, oh, maybe I said mollusk. I put it it together. (laughs) I'm an idiot. So (laughs) this is what I thought of. What Lady is showing you right now is what I thought of. (laughs) One small letter. That's funny. Next, I have the ITA dictionaries. Okay. Starting with nut low, the opposite of nut high. <laughs> and I have Mandy, the opposite of woo Mandy. And last but not least, Chachki, a bunch of shit behind Jared. <laughs> Lovely. That'll be available to our patrons. Uh, the IT dictionary. Get the whole dictionary. <laughs> it's three words. Uh, then I have who's the bitch now, Gracie? That's your phone call. Um, <laughs> And last but not least, how your mom sees children. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm screenshotting oh, that. Oh, that is curious. so beautiful. I love that. Love the neon. Yeah. Amazing. So it kind of makes you know it what? look like a... <laughs> what were you going to say, Jared? I was say, it kind of makes it look like a strip club. <laughs> Which you know, Chili's is the name of a strip club. Yeah, uh, yeah so. <laughs> probably in like Providence, Rhode Island. Um, <laughs> but it's there. I don't know why I thought strip clubs 
didn't look nice, but this to me looks amazing. This looks so <laughs> clean and pretty. Uh, I guess I don't know what a strip club, club looks like because I was imagining just like a dirty room. I guess I was imagining it's, a comedy club, but instead of like comedians, <laughs> just women stripping. That's not that far off. Yeah. That's Wait, just... hold on a second. Hold on a second. Leedy's been on the road and he's just, just like looking at all these shitty venues and everything. <laughs> And then one day she's going to go into a strip club and just be like, this is so much nicer. <laughs> Can we start a comedy show in here? <laughs> I think it's mostly just the red carpet. Is That's what that's a strip club. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Your staple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It actually kind of, it, it reminded me of, of the fact that like the Cheesecake Factory really thinks it's hot shit. Like yeah. it, oh, it, yeah. it, oh, it, it's yeah. like adorned. Like killers. <laughs> yeah. I could change the whole thing to That's Cheesecake true. Factory. <laughs> or Cheesecake because, like, Factory like, could be the one that you can't afford right. to go to yet. Right. Because oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so, like, I mean, it just, right. It, it just makes itself seem like that. That's really And funny. then your yeah. mom walks you by sure. and it's like, you're going to get married in one of these. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. You're All right. One of these. Lady Corbin, everybody, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on all the socials. Uh, just stab my name, Lady Corbin, and please support me on Patreon. I would love that. All right. And Gracie, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Save Gracie Canaan. I guess like you can figure out the spelling in the link to this. And uh, same on TikTok. And Twitter is Gracie underscore Canaan because I had Gracie Canaan and then I forgot my password and now I'm locked out forever, which is a common theme <laughs> in my life. So it's Gracie underscore Canaan. I used to be rich, but I couldn't get back into my mansion. So now I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. Brooklyn. <laughs> Honestly, love locking myself out. Oh, Thanks so everybody for watching and outro goes here. Thanks so much for watching. Check back every Monday for new episodes or you can listen wherever you enjoy podcasts. If you want to help support the show, tell your friends how much you like Is This Anything. Or get involved, like an episode, share, comment, subscribe. If you want more Is This Anything, you gotta join our Patreon at patreon.com slash ITAPod. We have a ton of awesome exclusive content on there and you can join for as little as a dollar a month. Check out the links in the description and hopefully we'll see you next week.